Without clean water, it's impossible to stay alive. That's what the people of Puerto Rico discovered when their electricity and water grids were destroyed by Hurricane Maria in September 2017. We were on our way to El Real, a tiny little village. For eight months after the hurricane, they had neither electricity or running water. Islanders began to get sick and some died as waterborne diseases began to spread. Out of the blue, aid workers from Israel arrived in some of the hardest hit areas, bringing with them the innovative water expertise that has helped turn Israel into a water superpower. After Maria, there was a huge leptospirosis outbreak all over Puerto Rico. Leptospirosis is a waterborne and rat transferred disease. My grandfather was affected by a hurricane. He actually developed a condition in his lungs because of the untreated water, and then he, he passed. It was just heartbreaking to see the devastation. There were organizations like Israel that were coming to Puerto Rico in just the first few days after the hurricanes hit, going directly to the communities that were impacted the most and trying to figure out what it is that they need and what can we provide in terms of technical assistance and resources. Israel began by handing out water filters and educating locals on water pollution. They stayed in one mountain village called El Real to build a gravity water filtration unit that could provide locals with clean water, whatever happens. Israel brought filters to us. They really got involved into how could we operate the system itself. And they gave us quite a few tasks on how we could do it, how we could unite the people in the community so that we could all get together and take care of that. I'm working here on a long-term water treatment project. So when it comes out of the system, it's 99.99% .99 free of uh, sediment and pathological bacteria. Without any power, without any pumps, or without any fuel, water is passing through the system and onto the local community. We are prepared for the next hurricane, because the people are more united. We know basically what to do. We could be able to survive. I'm getting emotional because we had so much dirty water after the hurricane, we couldn't even wash clothes. The fact that we have the opportunity to have this filter is a blessing. No teníamos nada, no teníamos luz, no teníamos agua. Estábamos totalmente sin alimento. Toda esta comunidad estaba totalmente desamparada. Para mí fue algo grandioso, sinceramente, de que hayan llegado ustedes aquí, como he dicho siempre, y los recalco donde quiera, que fueron ángeles caídos del cielo. Hola, Real. We are having a big festival with the community to celebrate the water system that we're building in partnership with the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico. We really hope that this community will be a model for the whole world. You know, the hurricane was a terrible, terrible tragedy. Many people lost their houses, many people lost their lives. But from this terrible tragedy, we have a new opportunity new hope and new life, and we are here to stay. Today, El Real is a model for clean water management all over Puerto Rico, and thanks to vital Israeli know-how, the villagers are now prepared for any disaster to come.